Okay, welcome guys. Welcome to today's lesson on Prota structure. Today we shall learn how to design a suspended ramp. So I'm going to place a grid somewhere around there. So I change this. Wow, yes. Let me change this. Four. And two. Oh, one. Sorry, two. Then I change this to six. I mean, just okay, no, three. Yeah, so I have this. Okay, so I'm going to okay, I'm not even going to use this grid line. I'm going to use grid line three. So I'm going to place my column along this direction. Um, let me see a 230 by 230 column, 230 by 230 column along this direction. Yes, yes, and yes. Okay, then the next thing I do is place my beam, um, a 230 by 450 beam, 230 by 450 beam. Okay, so place it around this point. Okay. Then bring my solid slab, um, a thickness of 175, concrete cover 20. Then I will load it, maybe 2. Point, let's say 2.0. Then impose load. Um, I can use five offices. No, for car park. Um, parking 2.5. Okay, so paste it here. Then you can see. Now, this RL level is to show you the level at which, like in case if you want to design a sunken slab, for example, now this is it in 3D. So I can bring my slab down to this position, property, then change my RL level to maybe 200 and 20. Sorry, then you see it came up. Now, if I wanted to go down, I'll put minus negative and it will come down. So I can also go negative let's see negative 50 of this so it's for a sunken slab okay so i'm just leaving it here zero now i want to bring i want to slant my slab so what i do is i can i want to reduce the height of this column so right click property come to 3d then my this i'll reduce the height maybe um minus 2500 out of the three meters so you can see down here then also right click property the same thing for this minus 2500 then update okay so i want to bring this beam down so i just right click um property come to 3d then in my eye is for i is for the left hand side so my eye will be minus 2500 then this will also be minus 2500 then you see it down this is it down then for this beam i'm going to drop this side only so i click this beam property then 3d minus 2500 then you update you can see this then also property um in my 3d minus 2500 so you can see this now remain only the slab for the slab to slant with this so all i do is let me go back to my plane to my plan rather so i'm going to use the plane definition now to work okay so it takes now come to your plane definition click it now it's asking you Pick a region surrounded by beams and walls. So this is my region. So I'll pick it. Now you can see P1 here. You can also see P1 here now. So I just need um where are the two parts I brought down. That is sorry. Let me know the columns. This is column 1C3 and column 1C4. So I can work with it here. Plan. So column 1c3 and column 1c4 so all i do is click this right click go back to the property then my point one i'll make this my point one my point two i'll make this my point two so for my point one i want to bring it down minus 2500 
my point two minus two thousand five hundred then I update so after updating I right click on my P1 then go to move plane members to plane definition yes okay so this is it so you can move it on plane definition and you can adjust the height to whatever length you want or height you want so thank you for watching today's video on rotor structure please if you have any question you can drop it in the comment section and i'll make sure i reply and please share and like the video thank you very much